get him, get him revived. I'll wait till he gives a kick and he is gone just like that. You're watching the number one adventure show, Hooked on Utah, powered by Ford. Welcome to Hooked on Utah. You know, today we're back with one of my favorite guys, Ashley Bonzer, Addictive Fishing. We're here on Flaming Gorge. Now you know him as the Bourbon Master, the king of the slimy ones, but he is also an amazing Mac guide. In fact, the premier Mac guide here on this lake. We're gonna go out and chase him through the ice today. It's gonna be a ton of fun. It's a little cold right now, so you guys bundle up, sit back, relax, and enjoy the action. Now one of the reasons that Ashley's digging two great big holes is we're not talking about your standard size fish here. We're talking about Mackinac lake trout. If we're lucky, you know, we're gonna pull some 20 and 30 pound fish through these holes and you can't get them through a trout hole. And then you can get, you can get any fish into the mid 40 pound range through anything like that right there. What's your biggest fish this year so far through the ice? Um, we, we never did weigh the fish, but it was uh, 45 inches long and uh, had a 28 inch girth. Just like you said, right, right off the bottom, playing in the mud, I saw him, spotted him coming up, right to it, and I told these guys, I said, there's a fish on the modern, and then boom. Awesome, dude. Good, solid fish. Just over there getting the jack <laughs> Baby with Ashley here on Flaming Gorge, I'm telling you, the man knows his stuff. Fish is pulling hard. Good, strong fish through the ice. I mean, this is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Oh, it's a strong fish. Right there. As soon as he sees your face, so he's probably gonna run to the bottom. <laughs> oh, it's a powerful fish. You know, and these are stout, stout ice rods used for mac and big fish. This is absolutely awesome. Let me tell you what, there is no better. He's getting close. There he is, I'm seeing some color. Got knots not, not coming. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Okay, I'm walking backwards. Knots not coming through my ice. Saw some color. Keeping him tight. Good job, buddy. Oh! Are you kidding? <laughs> right in the top of the lip. That is what I am talking about right there. Take a look at that absolute toad. Look nice at that. Fish. That's an absolute. Go ahead and over to you. Just try to keep your hands out of your gills. It's real important this time of the year not to lay them on the ice because that'll that'll freeze that that side that you lay them on. Freeze that slime. It'll freeze them, and uh, you're you're better off just trying to get a hold of them as firm as you can. Grab them firm by the tail. <sighs> Take, take a look at that. That is a monster fish through the ice. Up here, flaming gorge, addictive fishing with Ashley. Fish on. Number two, right here. 
Hooked on Utah is proudly presented by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter located throughout Utah. Mountain America Credit Union, supporting your home, your business, your life. The Ready Project, live life ready at home and in the outdoors. Goal Zero, renewable energy solutions anywhere. Big O Tires, the team you trust on and off our western roads. And Browning Firearms, always the best there is. This summer, you could be enjoying the relaxing atmosphere of Lake Powell, all from a 70-foot houseboat courtesy of Hooked on Utah and Mountain America Credit Union. To enter, go to macu.com forward slash Hooked on Utah to register your Mountain America Visa, debit, or credit card into the contest. And every time you use it between January 5th and March 31st, 2013, you'll receive an entry to win the free houseboat rental. Don't have a Mountain America Visa card? Sign up for one, and we'll see you at the lake. We're Hooked on Utah. You know the feeling, the rush. Out there, the only thing that matters is what's inside. Federal premium ammunition. Visit a Sportsman's Warehouse location or sportsmanswarehouse.com. Have you ever had a dead cell phone? Yes, I have. And does it suck? It sucks a lot. What kind of phone do you have? iPhone. It's a HTC Desire. Mine's an Android. An Android X. What we got here is a solar panel. Charge your phone as fast as a wall. Charging? What? Charging. <laughs> You're charging, man. Pretty quick, huh? Sweet. Wow. See that? Is this life changing? It is life changing. Yes. It's truck month at Utah's number one Ford truck dealer, Kengar Ford. Big rebates, good inventory, good selection, huge discounts. At Kengar Ford at American Fork. KengarFord.com to your local sportsman's warehouse and get geared up for your next adventure. Hey, for ice fishing, nothing beats a great auger. Come on into sportsman's warehouse. They've got a selection of sizes and horsepower prices to meet your needs. No one's got more ice fishing rods than sportsman's warehouse. If you want to set it up yourself or you want one that's already rigged and ready to go, sportsman's warehouse has you set for ice fishing. And now make sure you got your bucket and your seat to sit on. And while you're in the Sportsman's Warehouse, they've got a killer selection of all the ice fishing gear that you need to be successful this winter on the ice. You can spend a lot of time drilling holes in the ice with no fish below you. Make sure you get a fish finder at Sportsman's Warehouse. Drill a hole, find a fish, catch the fish, have some fun. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Are you kidding? Take a look at that. That is a monster fish through the ice. Up here, Flaming Gorge, addicted fishing with Ashley. I mean, this guy knows his stuff. Take a look at that. We've been out here for maybe about 30 minutes. 30 We're minutes. starting to get set up. There's still fish on the graph. Uh, That's awesome. This is, this is a world-class fishery, you know. Uh, any place you can come and catch, you know, 15, 16 to 20 pound fish like this. What do you think this weighs? On a regular basis, I, 16 to 18 pounds, so. Uh, he's a good representative of what we have. He here. is alive, ready to rock and roll. Should we put him back? Yep, give him a big old kiss. Take a look at that, folks. Woo! Right here, through the ice. That's what I'm talking about. Monster Mackinac. All right, let's get this guy right back in the ice. He is ready to roll, and he is gone. I've been slimed already, folks. That's awesome. No better way to get frozen slimed out here when you're catching fish like that. <laughs> fish on. Number two, right here. This is awesome. We watch this fish on the graph come right over and turn and go right down on my jig. And it, the bite was so light, the rod tip barely moved. In fact, I didn't notice it at first. Ashley was like, fish on! And, uh, Ooh, he has got some pull. Now he's going down. Oh! 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 Is what they do. Those big lakers, they'll 
get them right in the top of the mouth. And with that one ounce jig, they'll start doing that alligator roll. And you've already set that hook and you'll get a little bit of a tear in their mouth. And when they start doing that alligator roll, there's nothing. It just opens you can, up. Yeah. Dude, that thing had shoulders. Did you see him he turn and go started, down? He just turned on you and was headed back down. All right, I got a. See that right there? It'll ice over, and then what happens is where we've got the fluorocarbon tied to the braid, it won't pull through. So I'm having a little fish slime, and one thing you want to be careful of, if you grab your tip and start trying to bend it and flex it, you're just going to snap your eye off or snap your tip off, and uh, just a little, bit of, a little bit of warm saliva, and you're ready to go. But if you grab that tip, and you're, it's iced up, and you start doing this to it, Game over, that rod is no good anymore. That's my little ice trick for you. Fish on! Oh, tell you what, oh, he came off! I kept it tight. Just had my third fish on, came off um, after about a, you know, a 30 second fight. Pull them hard. Sometimes they just do that, you know, you might get them just in the lip. It just depends on when you set the hook and where you get them. And uh, I was a little slow on the draw on that one. I felt it tap and then tap and then I set the hook. So he could have already been pushing it out at that point. Yeah, we've moved inside the Eskimo hut. A little windy outside. Already we've had uh, one through the ice and I've hooked up two more times and had them come unbuttoned. This is exciting. This is why you want to go with someone like Ashley, who is a, a, an amazing guide. Coast Guard licensed up here. He is safe, whether it's on the ice, whether you're in his boat, he is a world-class guide. And one thing that I think is very important is, you know, fishing is a lot of fun, but catching is funner. And so you want to come with someone like Ashley, and he's going to teach you how to do it. And if you don't want to have to sit and learn, you just come up and spend the day with him and enjoy a world-class adventure right here on Flaming Gorge. I mean, if, if it's Burbot, Kokanee, Max, Ashley's the man. I'm putting it to him. I've got everything I can give him. Hi, I'm Karen Coleman, Doug Miller's daughter. Tonight, we catch the excitement as we join a modern-day gold rush in Utah. It could be a flashback to a scene a century and a half ago, and the anticipation of what could be in that pan has not been reduced by time. It is called Placer Gold, and there is hardly a canyon without a trace of it right here in Utah. And what you're looking at is a kind of modern day gold rush. This is an outing of the Northern Utah Prospectors Association. Like many of the gold clubs that are available, this one has its own claim. And there's a seam of gold that runs right through here, buried for eons against the bedrock. It is hard work. A shovel at a time, Kurt chips away at the concrete-like layer left by an ancient mudslide. His rock sample is gathered in a bucket to be panned later. The flakes that they find in their pan are about 85% pure gold, with just some traces of lead and copper. I want to take a minute, bring you inside my brand new 2013 F350, show you one of my favorite features. First, I want to show you the brand new redesigned navigation system. What I love about this is everything is touch screen. You also have your built-in buttons, but you can go touch screen. So if I want to turn my seat heater on, I just simply touch it. I can bring it down in temperature. I can turn my air conditioned seat on just by a simple touch. I can also go to my navigation, touch the touch screen, and immediately my navigation will come up, show me right, right where I'm at. If I want to do my weather overlay, all touch screen, actually go to my travel link, hit my weather, and then it will change and overlay and update and have inside the truck, if there's storms moving through, storm chart, radar, all of that, I've got it built right inside this truck. Check them out at your local Ford dealership. Fish on, baby, there it is. That is awesome. Nice work. Dude, that is perfect technique. One of the things Ashley did is this uh, this fish was following him up. He was about 10, 15 feet off the bottom. So he, ooh, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. 
Woo! I was actually dropping. You took it on the fall? That's something people really need to watch on there. When you're dropping in and you have those fish coming off the bottom, be focused because they will. It'll just stop. The jig will stop and that's all that happens. Boom. Jig stop. Set the hook fish on. Very nice. That's a huge, huge mark on the screen. I'm putting it to him. I've got everything I can give him. Like a big bus down there pulling me around. <laughs> What's so exciting is the power that these Max have. If you haven't ever experienced this, I mean, this is probably as close as you get to, you know, big game deep sea fishing right here. I mean, these are powerful. I mean, then you've got your drag locked out and he is stripping drag and this is a stout, you know, big game ice fishing rod right here. And this fish is actually, uh, he's taking it to Ashley right now. We had him to 90 feet. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's he's right back down to 95. Oh, oh did he come he off? just broke my line. No, he just come on down. That that's was a three fish That's today three fish, that was a toad. That was an absolute monster. You know what's so cool though, is to be hooked into a fish that big through the ice. No, he just came unbuttoned. The one time you don't want to lose fish, we've lost two, three now. That's three now, yeah. That is three fish we've lost. But that's how it goes. Sometimes, you know, some days they don't hit it as aggressive and they you'll just get them in the end of the nose or um, just on the outside of the lips or something. And they'll come undone, just like that. Got bit. Fish on, baby! There it is! Yeah, baby! Pulling some drag. Dude, look at him roll. Look at him roll. Dude, that, that drag is pinned down. Take a look at that, folks, right there. That drag is tightened up tight, and this fish is absolutely stripping me out. This is a big laker right here. This is absolutely awesome. Oh, oh man, he is stripping it. Look at all the bubbles coming up to the water. It's a big fish. Fish is strong. Oh man, he's pulling. This is incredible. Woo! <laughs> Honestly, dang, dude, I'm tired. <laughs> this is a good fish. Ooh. When his head turns, you just want to keep enough pressure that it doesn't give him any slack. When you're used to catching like little bass, all these <laughs> these Lakers, you know they'll wear your arms out. <laughs> oh man! Got to get you bass guys in shape for these Lakers. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> this is called tournament fishing. I've got the drag cranked, and as you can see, he is just stripping it, stripping drag. Oh, that's huge! I don't want to lose him. And I've got it tight. This is a good fish. Yeah. No more of our, let them loose a lot. Yeah, we're not gonna, I don't wanna let this guy loose. This is a so big- He's doing the big circles like a yeah. big fish. It's a big fish and he is strong. He just gets down there on the bottom and moves in big fins and just- Just try to keep that. He wants to go. Yeah. I want to keep it from when he runs that big circle from rubbing it on the ice. Yep. God, look at him go. I was going to say, you had him to 30 feet, but I think he just went back down to four. Dude, he is pulling. Big fish, super powerful. Dude, this is a lot of work. We fished long and hard today. We've had several big fish get off. We've landed a beautiful fish already. We've got another big fish on. And uh, we've been in this fight for about 10 minutes. Every time I get some line in, every time I get some line in, we start losing. Now I've got him close. I've got him up to the leader, so. There he is. Look at that thing down there. Nice. Oh, that's 
kind of want to lose it. I don't want this leader getting run on that ice. Oh. Are you nice kidding job, me? Buddy. That's Woo! what I'm looking for, buddy. <laughs> nice fish. Are you kidding? Look at the size of that thing. Well over 25 pounds, buddy. Dude, that's a giant. Check it out, baby. Ashley, addictive fishing through the ice. Giant Mackinac. That is an absolute toad. That's a world-class fish right there. You can travel to so many destinations throughout the U.S. and not be able to catch fish like this. And we've had several of them hooked up today. Just amazing fish. And anybody can come out and do this. Yeah, this is incredible. You know, get with us. Um, come out. We'll teach you how to do it. We'll teach you how to properly handle them. Keep your hands out of the gills. Um, these fish are 30 years old. We want to protect them as much as we this, this, these fish mean a lot to all of us that are here. This guy is the man right here. Ashley Bonds or Addictive Fishing. Come up, get your kids up here, get on a giant mat, get on a million burbot. You'll have the time of your life. The most professional, most enjoyable guide you've ever been with, Ashley, right here. And you're gonna catch some fish just like this. See that big lateral line that goes down them? That's how these fish are sensing our jig. Great big lateral line goes all the way up to that eyeball, so they can see and sense that so far away. I don't want to drop it. Drop it, buddy. Just roll it back out there. Oh, great fish! Oh my goodness, that thing is heavy. Oh, he's a freaking toad! Hey, folks, this is what it's all about: giant Mackinac. Flaming Gorge with Ashley. Come on up, give him a call. You're gonna have the time of your life catching giant fish just like this. Get him revived. I'll wait till he gives a kick and he is gone just like that. Great job. Buddy. See that big kick? Now that's the most important part. Back and forth, revive them, and then let them kick out of your hand and they're gone. If you push them under, He'll roll up, get pinned on that ice, and then it's over. But I give him a couple back and forth, get that oxygen flowing through his gills, and then as soon as he kicks away, he's gone. He's on his own. That's it, baby, right there. Giant fish job, from the buddy. man. I'm telling you, this is what it's all about. If you want to catch big fish, this is the guy. Well, you know what? Up. We'll, we'll do what we can to put you on fish, keep you on fish all day, and and have the potential to catch world-class fish like that. Oh yeah, you know what? There's nothing better than getting slimed by about a 30 or 40 pound fish. You wanna go catch deep sea monsters? We're only about two hours away from Salt Lake City, right up here with Ashley. And remember, stay hooked on Ashley, because if you are, you're gonna catch monster fish.